Hey, what's up YouTube? I got a little different video for you today. Usually it's on truck stuff and riding other kinds of motorcycle. But anyway, today I got a Craigslist special for you. So I figured this time of year, you know, some some of you might be thinking about going out and getting you a dirty bike because spring's coming. So or spring is here. So without further ado, before you go and buy you one or go look at one, there's a couple things I'd like to show you before you go make your purchase and then i got a couple things i want to show you after you get it home before you just start ripping because that might cost you a little more than you want to pay all right well i wanted to shoot this outside a little better lighting but you know the weather the wind is just too much so uh starting from i guess the front of the bike you know you go to walk up to it some of the things you should look at obviously you notice right away the bars look pretty pretty good somebody's replaced it the throttle okay you want to make sure she snaps back right now that's definitely important but also turn the bars and see how it changes especially when it's running turn them and see maybe the speed go up or down and that's really not safe it's extremely dangerous so you know don't be running a a, a motorcycle uh, anything when you turn the bars and it changes the r's no no bueno that's very dangerous obviously for those of you who don't know this video is going to pertain to people that really don't know much about dirt bikes so i just have a you know a few things that a feller or lady or whatever should really know before they just go buy whatever so you got your chain and sprockets that's pretty self-explanatory for most people uh especially if you know anything about them but you know just go up to it and go oh well the suspension's up that shouldn't be that tight because when it compresses it's going to tighten that chain even more but anyway, you don't want to break a chain and hit the case, and now, now you're having a bad day. I actually had a Banshee when I was 14, 15. A gentleman sold it to me, and they JB welded the chunk back in there, and I always had an oil leak. So look down under here real well when you're looking things over. Obviously, you want to check your gaskets and see if you see anything leaking. You know, look at the hose conditions. Anything been messed with? Do you see anything kind of looks out of place? See right off the bat, you got, you know, reeds have been changed. So, um, radiator, look at the fins. See how they're a little bit dinged or bent? You know, that's not too bad, but you, you want to make sure you don't see anything that's, you know, crunched or obviously leaking wheels you want to go through and kind of feel your spokes and you can hear oh oh hmm yeah that ain't no good so obviously the rear wheel is uh just grab a hold of it like that and you should have somebody obviously hold the bike and then uh wiggle that wheel and in doing so you'll be able to see in here she's kind of got a little bit of movement in there but uh, as far as the chain goes you'll start to really get some flat spots on the chain when she gets real worn and it's so tight it's hard to see side to side flex but you want to check your sprockets they're not very sharp and they're not hooked right from uh really being bad the shock rear shock you can see there is let me go around the other side now the rear shock's kind of hard to see you can see she's kind of been banging against the swing arm on the spring there which could mean the bushings down under here are bad okay um but right off the bat you can see on the the the, the chrome all the dirt has pushed down and hit that bump stop. So what does that tell you? She's bottoming out just by looking at it. So right off the bat, whoop, right off the bat, you know the shock's got to get rebuilt. The rear wheel is dangerous. You know, check your brakes. You got any pad in between? 
you know. Looks like there's plenty of pad. No grooves, really. The rear tire looks good here. But if you come around the other side, you'll notice that the chain was loose. I had to bring a light and change around here a little. You can see the chain was either really loose or the wheel, all of it, not, it's been hitting there. So that's, that's a good indicator that something hasn't been right back here for a while. Now let's take a look at the front wheel. Um, kind of squeeze the, not too hard, but kind of squeeze the spokes a little bit and see if there's any movement, which I checked earlier and there isn't. Front tire looks like it's in pretty good shape. And then I tried to wiggle it. You know, I'm holding the camera, so I don't want to do it now. I tried to wiggle it and it didn't have any slop really. So this front wheel seems pretty good. So we're going to be looking at at least a rear tire, a rear rim or tightening it, you know, straightening it and truing it. The rear sprocket looked good, front sprocket looked good, but the chain, I think we're going to need a new chain, which I already ordered. This is very dangerous. The spring is broken. So what happens when you hit a jump and that happens and your foot goes to come down and normally your peg is there and you crunch your Anyway, fix that. You'll thank me later. If you uh, don't, well, leave me a message telling me you wish you would've, because I know you're gonna be like, oh, I heard Uncle Lemmy, I wish I would've. So if you wish you would've, please leave a comment. The front forks, whoop, sorry, focus, come on. The front forks here, you can see, see that lines? each time she so you can tell the oil was leaking out and that's why it leaves a, a line like that sometimes you'll get dirt and uh, other debris but it shouldn't be that bad so we know now we need front shocks rebuilt we know the whole rear um, we know most of this is good up here, but I want to show you these forks. You know, you want to look and see if they've ever been rebuilt. And, um, mm -hmm. somebody did. Come on. Somebody did. Somebody rebuilt those. And whoever did it either was a knucklehead and used the wrong wrench. But look at that. Um... If you use a pipe wrench when you do that, you're you're doing it wrong. So you see stuff like that. This was redone or whatever, but you, know, you can pretty much guess it was somebody that wasn't doing it the right way. The kick lever. Obviously, you're going to want that to stay in because when you're riding, you don't need it to come out and catch and all kinds of problems. So let's let's keep this in so it's staying in but there's other little secrets you got to be a little bit of CSI guy here see that there oh you'd think she's got good compression but that dinghy is from hitting gotcha um, and as tight as this is she's not too worn out so what that's telling me is somebody's been kicking the living crap out of this thing. And the compression does feel good. You know, not bad. She does run. I took her for a rip and then she started to die, which is a whole nother little quick video I'm going to do. And I... I got two good guesses, and I'll sh I'll tell you both of them here in a little bit. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to end up pulling this motor. So you can see, got a nice pipe. You know, so there has been some things done. This shock, there's a date on there forever ago. These settings, spring rate. Um, so there has been things done to this. This is a decent machine. I'm not going to. 
bash and say this thing has been ran really rough but for the most part everything seems pretty true and pretty straight the, you know the, the levers look good you know you don't see anything leaking cables look nice you know you want to really look over and the safety stuff's on you folks i mean you you're the one that needs to be feeling your clutch right that's that's a safety concern your kill switch that's a safety concern so you know you better make sure the wires look pretty good and the button feels good same thing with your throttle like i was mentioning and then your front brakes does it go all the way to the bar pretty close so there's probably some bleeding or some adjustment or even the pads which would be a little harder to see uh, on this but they do look pretty pretty worn Whoa. but anywho um so that's that's kind of on you to check that's pretty obvious tires are pretty obvious um, and then the overall condition. Are they throwing a bunch of money into... they putting lipstick on a pig? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the process by taking the chain off because we're going to pull this motor. I'm going to show you a few things along the way. I'm going to take this chain off and show you how to tell if it's shot or not. And anybody that's been riding long enough can just look at it and they'll know. But I'm going to show you a couple of tricks you could do with the chain and it'll show you if it's good or not. And then we're gonna start taking apart back here because what I my little secret I want to you know trick little tip that I uh, want to show you is we're trying to get to the carburetor and we're gonna get the cage out so you can look in the cylinder because that's gonna tell you everything. I mean you can see so on these two strokes this is a 2000 RM 250 and. Uh, the guy on Craigslist had a laundry list of stuff that was supposedly changed and replaced and sounded mint, but you'll see here in just a second. So I'm gonna start getting some of this stuff off and we will see in a little bit. Also, another good tip, if you're gonna go buy a bike, you're getting ready to go look at it, uh, make sure if you're going to buy a bike that you tell the guy, gal, whatever, that you want to make sure that engine's cold when you get there. That for them not to warm it up. Because what a lot of fellers will do, they'll spend all day getting it going. And then hopefully by the time you get there, it'll work enough to get it out of their place. So, you know, make sure you try to tell, you know, ask them if you can, uh, you know, have it cold for when you get there. Here's another telltale sign. Something's not right back here. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yep. You might see it now. Obviously, that sucker has been hitting the swing arm. So that, you go, if you were to go buy this bike, you better, you better worry about that. So let's see what else we gotta worry about. So now that you got it home, let's start tearing it apart and figure out if the motor's bad. Does it, was it really rebuilt? Well, stay tuned, we'll take a look.